Tom Brady. Would you uh, Brady? How's Brady? Brady's Hell father? Yes. Oh God, damn! You, you ain't let me answer the question. You ain't let me finish the question, Tay. <laughs> I know exactly. Hey, I knew it, when you said Tom Brady. I knew what you said. Let me see what he's gonna say. And then you got to talk about Odie. Is I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You would take Tom in 47, 48? 58 right now. <laughs> hey, nah, Tom, look, Tom know about how I feel about him, man. I, and the other part is I think I'll be the first person that played with Tom and Aaron. So right. that'll, that'll be pretty cool. Yeah. And, I mean, he getting older, but, I mean, he, he got to still be able to throw it better than, you know, half these dudes in the league he at, can, at this baby. point. You know, so. But I, you better be able to protect him because he ain't going to be able to take them hits better. And he ain't going nowhere either. He's going to sit right there in that pocket. So you better have a nice, secure little, nice. little home for him yes. in there. That's yes. for sure. Jimmy G, Brian Hoyer, Aiden O'Connell. Um, now it's, it seems like Aiden O'Connell and Garner Minshew are going to be fighting for the starting quarterback. Do you have the pieces at that position? Because it doesn't matter. You can go out there and you can run the best routes in the world. You can run the end cut, the dig, the dagger, the, hey, the shake, all that. Right, Good. Right. Ooh, ooh, but, man, you see Devontae run that rock at him on skates. But if that ball sails out of bounds, yeah. eventually – they gonna get frustrated, right? Cause, bro, I'm putting in this work. I'm getting open. I'm winning, and I ain't gonna get no looks. Yeah, man, it's it's a it's always a tough conversation because when you talk about having the for sure answer, we we don't know because we haven't we haven't seen Gardner in a in a Raider uniform. We've seen him make some plays, and you know we've seen it to a certain extent. Jacksonville, Indy, exactly. He's 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 definitely been out there and had some experience. Aiden, on the other hand, hasn't had near as much experience. He had to pick up, you know, in an in a offense that's fit for a Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. It's, it's an it's a offense that you have to have an extremely high-level execution to be able to yeah. make it work. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of dink and duck. It wasn't a lot of, you know, it wasn't a million shots down the field. Right. You know, I, I did catch, I had much longer touchdowns in, in that offense, but it was honestly as a result of us figuring out on the fly. Like we said, trying to adjust and, and make it work. It was a lot of that. So... When you got a guy, and, and me and Aiden talked about it at the end of last year, because I think we were, we were in a hot tub, and somebody asked him, like, what do you think about this offense? And he, and he said himself, he said, this offense just requires a really high-level execution. You got to be able to really sustain a drive. Right. Like, you don't get, just because you went, you know, three, you you got you capitalized on fourth down twice, you don't get five downs on the next one. You still got to move. So if you only didn't got 20 yards with two first downs. Right. That's a lot of work you still got to do to get down there, especially, right. you, you know, the ball getting kneeled in the end zone. You starting way back there. Right. You can still get three first downs and punt the ball. Right. So, you know, it, it's, it's not in a lot of offenses in these, you know, especially today. These offenses explosive, man. They, you get three first downs. Your ass done score. Basically. <laughs> so, it, you know, it, it's tough to do. You got to pick up in the middle of that as a as a young buck. And then you come in, you know, the, the game that, that Jimmy gets hurt. He got to jump in and play against the Chargers, get sacked six times by the same freaking person. Like, like that's not easy. And, and right. he kind of got thrown into the fire a little bit. So I do believe in Aiden. And I, I think he's going to. Um, He's going to be able to feel a lot more comfortable. He looked he looked pretty good in, in OTAs, and we're just going to continue to grow and, and learn from each other. And I've always been a big advocate for him because when he first came in, he came in real confident, um, balling in, in the OTA period and in preseason and, and showed everybody what, what he has the potential to do. So we just got to keep working, just like with me and Aaron. I think, I mean, if you were, if you were trying to count your chickens before they hatch with me, then you, you wouldn't have had no eggs. <laughs> because my first two years wasn't exciting nobody to think that, that it was going to be. Then you're going to turn out to what you turned out. Exactly. So, you know, I'm the, I'm, I'm the main person sitting there saying, everybody relax. You know, you got you to gotta give it give, the, give time for the, for the flower to grow. You know, we, we watering it right now and we're going to, you know, ultimately see what what it what happens with it, but it's hard to say for sure. Like we gonna win a Super Bowl right now, but we we got a lot of work to put in still, and and I think we uh we got we got a good chance to to get a lot better. So you would say that the offense under Josh it required a lot of patience mm-hmm. and a lot of precision. Correct. Because you know, hey, if you miss, but you got to be able to come back and do it over and over and over and over again. And a lot of times you're doing that without taking shots. It, exactly. And and this game is about. And, and that's a lot of snaps, too. Yes. So at the end of the day, when when you got your team on the field for, you know, almost 80 plays, 
you know, you're going to be out there with a lot of so folks and, and maybe hurt folks. Right. Now, if you can get out there and get some explosives and, and your defense is out there and getting the ball back to so you, you put it in, then, then now that's less plays. You you stretching the field. You, the morale of the team is different because mm-hmm. now you, you didn't got more confidence. Getting a first down, you know, on fourth down is cool and that can give you confidence. You want to have that in your bag of being right. able to, but you ain't trying to go down there just scoring on. on you know, yeah, you ain't going to make a whole lot of living fourth down. Oh, they, oh this, this team goes for it the most on fourth down. And all yeah, the, no. That's gonna get you in trouble. That's yeah. gonna bite you in the butt eventually. In, in Philly, that worked because they they doing it different over there <laughs> with the way they do it. But you know, when it when it's fourth and three and you didn't ran the ball third and six to get it shorter to do it like that, like that's just not the type of right. ball I believe in. I, right. I believe in being aggressive, and especially when you had a personnel to do right. so. I'm looking at you guys had some issues. The Raiders, man. I remember Al like I don't care what you guys. Al, oh, Al Davis, who's the owner of the Raiders, his his philosophy was. Just win, baby. Mm-hmm. So he didn't really care about the off-field stuff, yeah. but this is a new age. This is a new time, Devontae. Yeah. And you guys had some issues that kind of maybe, I don't know how much that impacted what you did on the field, mm-hmm. but it it can't be easy dealing with some of the things that you had to deal with yeah. that wasn't football related. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's never, it's never going to make it easier anytime you got any type of distractions on the outside. So we try to limit that and... The other reality is if it's, if it's player related, coach related, whatever it is, like you want to ultimately, if people can't, like nobody's perfect. So th- things are going to happen every so often, but you got to look at the type of things that's happening, obviously. And if people don't fit that mode and they start to create too many distractions and hold the team back from, you know, realizing their full potential, then you got to do what you got to do, man. Right. Like this, this, this thing going to keep rolling regardless. So, and, and that's the mindset that I got too. Like. I got plenty of friends and I and I love continuing to grow bonds and I feel like, you know, you hear about, you know, the, the guys like you that played and, and not in it no more. I feel like the main thing I always hear is that what I miss most is that connection and that, that locker room feel. You know, playing the games. They a lot of dudes that didn't play for a long time, they say, I don't miss playing. No. I'm good on that. <laughs> yeah. But but that camaraderie being together every day is is just a that's a whole different thing. So I'm, I, I got plenty of friends, like I said, so if you don't fit the mold and you don't bring the same type of attention and, 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 and intention when you come in to, to you know, the, the facility, practice the game every single time you come out there and you out here doing this and that and you can't stay focused, well then, and that's that's how I would do it if right. I was the coach, you know. Right. And like I said, it ain't a it ain't a, a one shot deal and you out. But right. if it's to a point where you are consistent and, and it ain't you ain't bringing a, enough positive and, and it's the the bad is outweighing the good, then you serve no purpose here. Yeah. So <laughs> it's funny that you said that. Is that do you feel like sometimes like the Raiders because of the Raiders kind of like. If I was born a pirate, I think my job is a natural pillage and loot. Mm-hmm. And so if you get drafted to the Raiders, it's almost like I'm supposed to be a bad boy. I'm supposed to be bad. I'm supposed to get in, get in trouble. As long as I knock hell out of people on the field, hey. I catch a few touchdowns. That that may that may be I, I never really thought about it like that, but I, like you said, you you grow up, you grow up in that and or you get, you know, brought into that culture. The the thing is I think that that's kind of the the older thing. I don't know if that's the the Raider culture as much. It's definitely that hard nosed, mm-hmm. tough. You know, you want to be you want you want people to fear you coming in. Right. They don't want to. They don't want you don't want them to fear that you about to shoot them <laughs> or, or, or rob them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nothing like that. So yeah. we we can't be getting too out of control right. with it. But right. but we try to you know definitely have that that same type of mentality. That's what he said. I mean, we we watch videos throughout the year. You know, little hype videos they put together yeah. for you week in and week out, and we we get to see some of the stuff that 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 Jack Tatum and boys. Was doing Man, that, and Al, Al, you going to jail for John, that even on the field today? I'm telling you, John Madden too. Them boys saying, "Yeah, we we the rated. Yeah, we gonna we gonna punch you in the mouth. What you gonna do about it?" Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button, where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.